My name is Wasio Alimi, and I'm from Nigeria. Uh, in terms of the developmental challenges, you talk about the social amenities that are lacking and uh, the not too many available infrastructures. Uh, on the climatic aspect of it, the climate challenge we are facing, because of poverty, you see a lot of changes in the climate pattern, which is evident in flooding, acceleration, citation of river and streams. Uh, the geospatial technology that can help is our GIS, Geographical Information System, because it has the ability to integrate many data together. And because of that, we could produce maps that policymakers, people in power, they can see. They don't need to take their time to like read many things. We just need to show them the picture evidence that, wow, this is happening and there's a need for a change. I carry out the research and I produce things to show to them, carry out an outreach activity to kind of enlighten them about the changes that are happening and the effects on their socioeconomic life. It's going to be fantastic because it's not that people are not ready for a change or embrace activities that is sustainable. They just need like a push they need to know that someone is doing it and if i could just continue repeating the same message over and over again they will be they, they will be like wow there's going to be something in it that's making this guy to repeat this message all over and over again the michael survey has helped in my project because they provided training that has helped me to refine my work very well I put forward a conceptual framework and they worked on that for me and that's I was able to operationalize this conceptualization very 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 well and uh, another important aspect of it is that we were taught how to communicate scientifically because we are meeting with local people they don't need all the jargons they just need to hear these things in the best form they can understand it and with my career I was able to do that fantastically. I mean, I could see it from them when they were expressing how happy they are to see someone to enlighten them on how to make sustainable use of forest resources without degrading the ecosystem. And that's because I was able to communicate effectively with them, not too many technical jargons. In five years, I see myself uh, as an environmental consultant, a big player in the environmental field just going around and telling the people the need for development to be sustainable because we have a duty as human beings to make this health to make the environment better for the next generation and it is a collective responsibility a collective responsibility